Today on Live at 4, exactly one month after a deadly apartment explosion in Beaver Dam, new details are emerging about the alleged bomb maker. Unsealed search warrants show what investigators found in Benjamin Morrow's apartment, including white supremacist material. Pete Zervakis live in Beaver Dam this afternoon with the latest on this investigation. Pete. Well, Courtney, you'll recall that after that explosion, investigators ended up burning down this entire building. It no longer stands. Benjamin Morrow's neighbors were left displaced. In the meantime, investigators say inside his apartment, they found dangerous chemicals and several guns. An investigator with the Department of Justice described 28-year-old Benjamin Morrow's apartment unit at 109 Kanab Drive as a homemade explosive laboratory. In Morrow's garage, investigators say they discovered a liter-sized bottle full of white powder or white crystalline substance. On the side of it, the letters TATP written in black magic marker. Police say TATP is a dangerous explosive someone can make at home. Just the volatility of it, um, it, it could be set off by friction. 13 medium-sized jars, possibly containing TATP, were also found inside a small fridge in the apartment, along with white supremacist material. I can't go into detail about it today. Uh, that, that material still is in the hands of the FBI. Also inside Morrow's unit, several guns, exploding targets, and a ballistic helmet and vest. Now, according to those documents, investigators also found more than 1,000 rounds of ammunition in the apartment unit. Beaver Dam police tell us, at least for the time being right now, they still believe Morrow was acting alone. Live in Beaver Dam, Pete Zervakis, today's TMJ4.